Um, so, so mine, my first one is uh, one that, um, again, kind of like Pro Compressor, is is something that if you have a subscription, you'll you'll get this at no extra charge. You'll get this already. So, if you have a subscription, you get this thing called Heat. Okay. Um, if not, it's one hundred and ninety nine bucks. Okay, um, which isn't too bad. And the one thing that I like about with Heat. There are there are a lot of different saturation plugins, right? Um, there's there's just a, a bunch, and I think there's a couple that D Dave's going to talk about as well. Uh -huh. um, and one of the one of the main guys um, in the world of of emulation and and um, and saturation is a guy named Dave Hill. Um, and and Dave Hill's a name that you might be aware of. Um, uh, Crane Song. He works with Crane Song. Mm -hmm. So Phoenix Two, which is a great saturation plugin, that's Dave Hill. So he's you know he's a big big name. Now what we did was we 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 at Avid um, worked with Dave to build a plugin that that works in a way that no other plugin does. Um, this is kind of, to me it's not even a plugin. It's a super plugin. Because instead of applying saturation just to the main bus, which is not the way analog boards work, it applies that saturation on a track-by-track -track basis. Um, and I'll be honest, I don't know what this is going to sound like, but I'm hoping it's going to sound great. <laughs> um, I'm sure it will. <laughs> so, so what I'm going to do, you can see here that, that as I launched, as I turned on heat, there was a progress bar, and it actually insinuates that that plugin into all the audio tracks. So if I go over here and take a look at the heat view, you're going to see up here there's there's heat on all of my audio tracks, not on the instrument tracks. So here's if you're going to use heat and if you want to warm up your instrument tracks, commit them. Commit them yeah. and make them audio tracks, right? So so by default aux tracks, master fader tracks, any of those tracks are excluded from heat just kind of the way that they would be you know aux tracks and master faders would be excluded from saturation in, in an ad, actual board and one of the things there's just so much to like about this is first of all it applied that plugin across all the different tracks that i want second of all it's got two parameters <laughs> it's just, it's the simplest <laughs> thing in the world um drive basically if you move the drive towards the west uh, counterclockwise, it then is going to be boosting the odd harmonics. God, I'm getting them wrong. I should probably prepare for this. It sounds more tapey, okay? Mm. Um, and this is going to going to bring you that that nice darkness. Um, and then if you go over to the other side, it's going to boost other harmonics, and it and it becomes more like a tube amp, more of a, an aggressive sound. Mm. So, I, and I'll be honest, it's it's maybe my age, but I like, you know, I like to bring a little bit of tape warmth. Not too much, you can go too too far with it, but I like to bring in a little tape warmth and, and get it to sound kind of kind of fat and analog-y, right? So that's the way I normally use it. It's the way a lot of folks normally use it. Now, mm. anybody who's worked with tape knows that tape does terrible things to high frequencies. And, and one of the things that we used to do back in the old days is we used to put a lot of EQ on things like cymbals and, and hi-hats and stuff like that because the tape itself would, would just, you would lose all that high-end information. Well, this is a plugin. We're not losing any information, but Dave is so conscientious in his emulation of, of tape read and right heads and the whole nine yards is if you, if you, change this to, to act like tape, it will cut the corresponding high frequencies. The information's not lost though. I can bring it back by trimming it up. And it's not like putting EQ on frequencies that aren't there. And anybody who used to do with that with, with analog knows you could push the, the high end shelf on, on the, the, the symbols and it would just sound brittle, right? It, it wouldn't you're basically boosting the high end of a very, very low signal, right? Mm. So it, it didn't do that well. Here, it just reveals what the plugin has caught, uh, has, has cut. It, it doesn't boost non-existing frequencies, if I'm explaining this right. Mm. So let's go ahead and see what this sounds like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bypass this, and let's go ahead and start playback. And you guys aren't hearing it, are you? No. No. All right, because I and we'll have to do a stop. Uh, let me stop sharing, and I need to make sure that I'm showing. Uh, while while you're uh, trying to solve that, um, uh, I, no, I can. 
I can I can talk a bit about the Dave Hill uh, thing. Uh, there's yep. a great video uh, from Avid about the the development of of the mm -hmm. Heat plugin on YouTube. And uh, if you want to look at that, watch this first, and then you click on the link below to see Dave Hill talk about Heat, and yep. you will just be amazed. And even though it's a, uh, it's an older plugin, I I think it's just amazing. It's so good. I love it. Um, now I I haven't I haven't expl experimented with this song at all, right? Uh, I'm that confident that it's going to make a difference. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and play. Come on. Where am I? Come on, play. There you go. You guys are hearing that, right? Yeah. Okay. So you hear this and it sounds fine, right? It's it's a nice mix. It's got, you know, obviously it's got a couple of, of saturation-ish things put in. Great. No problem. Get that in your ears. Let's see if we hear any difference. Okay, I don't know about you. I actually got a chill, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? And it's 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 the cool thing about it is it's it doesn't get louder, it just saturates. And 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 here's the other thing that I love about this is you can change this to a pre or post insert saturation. But more importantly than that, you can bypass saturation on the on the on the tracks that you want. And this goes mm -hmm. back to kind of the old way we mixed tape. And low frequencies are not friends, right? And the one, one of the things about tape that we couldn't wait to get away from was the fact that your, your kick and your bass and all those low frequencies can get muddy real super quick. So uh, what I'll do, if I want to bring up the, the kick without having it you know, really, really spread, mm -hmm. just on, on the kick track, just bypass, bypass, bypass heat. Mm -hmm. and, and, that, and now I have the best of analog on the tracks that I want it's not on tracks that you don't want, and it's two controls. It's super, super easy. It's just so, so useful. I, I, I can't think of the last music project that I've done that I haven't used heat on. I, I am that reliant on this particular plugin. Again, 199 bucks if you don't have a subscription. Um, easily worth that. Easily worth that. It takes so much off your plate when it comes to mixing and, and getting things to be more full but not heavier, right? So it's it, it mm. does do things in a different way than just putting a saturation, excuse me, a saturation plug-in on the on the master bus. Yeah, I, I use it a lot also on music uh, sessions. But I I I did a 210p course a couple of weeks ago, and I had an engineer, and he told me that Heat was uh, sometimes uh, a plugin that he used on an entire mix for for film as well. Oh really? Uh, yeah, uh, I was really, really surprised to hear that because I haven't heard about that before, but uh, really cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and by the way, could you use it on film? Sure, and then if you want to, you could just take your dialogue and take heat off of it, right? So yeah. the, the great thing is it's so selective and, mm. and putting a single plug-in you know, on, on, a, on the master bus, that's great too, right? Mm. Um, and, and sometimes, by the way, I'll put a little bit of heat on some tracks and I'll also put the crane song on the master fader um, mm. very, very gently, right? Because you can go way, way overboard when it comes yeah. to saturation. But, you know, it, it's, it's just such a great plug. I gush. I apologize. I'm gushing. <laughs> 